Well, now I want to turn to Martin Breckfield MMR to see uh, his scratch building corner. Martin, welcome. Okay, I'm almost here. <laughs> sort of, sort of, kind of, maybe. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Well, I think that's that screen. And I believe it is. There we go. Looks about right, give or take a little bit. Okay, so where were we? It's been a whole week. Hard to think back that far. Okay, oh yeah, we're still in the towerless house. We're in the third installment. We're gonna do some roof and other stuff. Uh, mainly the other stuff probably because doing a per roof on basically is pretty easy. <clears throat> uh, well, relatively speaking. But before we even do the roof, we're going to do the foundation. So, so much for the roof. Apparently, I'm going to do the foundation. Um, so, we need a platform. Foundation platform. This is uh, 116th basswood. Sitting up on a frame, which we'll see in the next slide. But you can see the scribe sliding sections. That's for the two porches that were in the original building. Uh, the rest of this is just pieced together 16th inch basswood. This is a great way to get rid of stuff. Put it under buildings where you can't find it later uh, and glue it all together and not worry about it too much. And we flip it over. You can see there's lots of scrap and lots of joints that are reinforced and some, I don't know, half inch by half inch blocks. That's all kinds of scrap out of the uh, wood box in, in, the, in the shop. Uh, which never seems to keep getting refilled, despite the fact we tend to throw away a lot of stuff, actually. Though, with the change in weather coming up, we'll at least be able to put it in the fireplace, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> we just build one of these up. This is, this is for the entire building to sit on. We'll come back to finishing it off later, because we just can't have raw wood as a foundation. So, let's set the building on top of it that was assembled last week. Okay, so we have roof on it now. Uh, this is just 132nd inch basswood. Just cut it to the site right size and angles, knead it up. Uh, that's 5,000th copper foil for flashing. Yeah, it's more than you need, but it's gonna get, under, get covered over with shingles later anyhow, so it won't, doesn't matter if it's ex excess, as long as it's you know better to have too much than too little. Uh, we have a roof over the front porch here. This is actually the entrance way to the house. You see, that this is, again, pieced up pieces of uh, 132nd. It's probably leftover from putting this roof on. So the left leftovers of this get glued up edgewise, slapped together, put over here, glued in. There's a little support over here holding it up, but not much else at the moment. <clears throat> and go around back where that bump out was. Hey, guess what? There's another roof on it and a porch with a little piece of 132nd basswood over that again. Uh, there's some framing underneath that that's holding it up. You'll see what that looks like in a bit. You can see the foil just, just gets pushed into this valley and bent over and hooked over the top to hold it in place. Uh, that's all that's holding that in there is some goo. Good old Walters or Hobsco goo if you're, if you're, if you're, over a million years old, you remember when it was called Hobscos and not Walters. Um, it's really good stuff for when you're gluing metal to wood. And you put a little C, uh, crazy glue, cyanoacrylate in the mix. Well, you better get it right the first time because you're not going to get it off later. So here's the back porch again. And you can see there's a little bit of framing around this actually that looks like 16th inch uh, instead of 132nd. Doesn't really matter. It's still scrap out of the box. Some strip wood framing around it to hold it up in place. A little piece underneath here. Then now we get into a little bit of uh, pain and suffering. We build this railing. Now, this doesn't come this way. This is a lot of different pieces from Grant Line. Uh, you have these posts, which I actually put in 
alternating, I thought upside down, right side up, but it's mainly right side up. Uh, these are individual pieces of railing, which you cut and fit into place. These are little pieces of ornamentation, which actually don't belong down here. They're actually somewhere for a bracket for somewhere else, but I like them down here to finish off this picture. These are widow walk railings, which actually go up on the roof. But if you flip them over and put them here and cut and cut them, put them in place with a little bit of, uh, I actually had, had 10 ax at the time, still had some leftover methylene chloride in my shop. Uh, you just touch it with a brush and it's styrene, it melts right into place and doesn't come back out. And you just wrap this around and it becomes one solid unit. And you don't stick your finger through it too many times, it won't break. Honestly, this is ridiculously fragile up at the top. So uh, no joke about the fingers. You'll see, you know, you can see, I haven't put the door in yet because it hasn't been painted yet. It's going to be a little bit of fun to slide that through this, turn it sideways, turn it right side up, slap it into place with adhesive on it at the same time and put it in that hole after the wood has been painted. But these are the things we do. Uh, why? I'm not quite sure, but I think some of us are more masochistic than others. They come around the corner. Grantline makes these posts and they're half thickness in the packet, which is just what I needed right here, a half thickness post. And that just bridges across with more of that widow's walk piece. And you can see there's a little bit of copper flashing up here now to uh, finish off that roof and more railing around back. So this is the back porch. The back porch doesn't get the pretty railing. It doesn't get the widow's walk inverted up at the top. It just gets posts and some basic plain railing. You know, the money's up front, just like it always is. Now, a little bit of flashing around back. And I don't know what number slide I'm on, but I bet I'm done. Hey, I got it right. I am done. Mm -hmm. So that's the, you know, so that's enough of that stuff for now. We're going to get into painting and finishing part one because painting and finishing is a lengthy process on this. Uh, I described one of the most painful parts is putting that door in place. So we'll talk about that next week. Yes, next week. So back to you, Jim.